Welcome everyone to Beer, Bourbon, and Games. I am your host, Chris, and today on the channel we have something pretty cool to take a look at today. It is a collaboration between two things that I absolutely love. That is beer and bourbon. Now, I recently found that Jim Beam and Budweiser were going to be doing a collaboration on a special beer. Now, I honestly don't like Budweiser beer too much. Not a fan of their beer. Typically, uh, more of an IPA type guy. But when I saw that they were working with Jim Beam, I was kind of intrigued. I'm not going to lie. So, I did go out and I was able to manage to find some. It is the Jim Beam and Budweiser Copper Lager. So just to look at it, this is a flavorful American Copper Lager brewed with two row barley and aged on real Jim Beam bourbon barrel staves for a toasted oak aroma and this deliciously nutty taste with caramel rye and vanilla notes and a smooth finish. So I was hoping that it was going to be inside of a bourbon barrel a lot of places are doing bourbon barrel aged beer. This looks like they just did it over top of a part of a barrel, the stave. So I'm not quite sure how much bourbon influence we're actually going to get on this. Hey, but we can try it. Um, Budweiser beer is kind of eh, but maybe this might not be too bad. Um, the bottles are cool. They're a little shorty. Uh, I did only spend, I believe, seven bucks for six of these. So not too terrible overall i would say that's a pretty good deal uh off of the packaging definitely really cool looking i like that and uh, just to give you some facts here it is 6.2 percent alcohol per volume so it does look like it's a little bit higher than some of the normal budweiser that i recall but ah, let's see how it tastes so we got our we got our glass here representing local drinks today we've got chatty monks brewing company shout out to you so let's see it is a twist off which is nice cap is really cool let's go ahead and see how it pours see it pours really nicely it has a really really small head there not very much head we do see the carbonation coming up to the top and it looks like it does say that it's a copper lager now in this light i guess it is a copper color but it looks more more red than anything it looks like an imperial red ale than it does a copper color so color could be a little deceiving um but overall not a bad looking beer. It looks like the head is dissipating rather quickly, but let's take a look and see if it smells of bourbon at all. Not really smelling much in the way of bourbon. Smells like a typical Budweiser beer. Smells like a lager. There is some malt and barley here that you can smell. Very malt forward no smell of hops at all and i'm i'm honestly not getting any any bourbon smells at all i mean maybe some light light vanilla but i don't even smell any oak or anything like that so it honestly just smells like like a budweiser beer so overall out of the gate not a bad package we've got a good looking beer good looking bottle and set up so the most important thing though is do they knock it out of the park with taste that's the only thing that matters so let's give it a try okay it's not terrible I was expecting a lot worse from Budweiser I will be honest but honestly it's not as bad as what I thought it was going to be Um, very, it still does taste a lot like a Budweiser, but darker, a lot more malt flavor forward. Ever so slightly taste of vanilla in there. Not, I'm not tasting any bourbon. 
I will be honest, I'm not tasting the collaboration. I will say it tastes much better than Budweiser normally does. So kudos to you there, Budweiser, for making a beer that tastes better than normal beer. However, I'm not getting much in the way of the collaboration between the two. Now, I understand that with a company like Budweiser, you're not going to go full bore and make it super bourbony, I believe, only because this has to be uh, a beer with a mass appeal. Um, they're trying to reach the most people they can, and the common denominator is going to be more of a casual audience, and I think that's what they did here. Uh, overall, it's not a bad beer. It's not a great beer. It's definitely not, definitely not one that I normally would shoot for. Um, I do shoot more for IPAs, Citra IPAs, and this kind of this tastes more just like a pretty traditional domestic beer. It's the best way to put it. Um, if you've had a Budweiser before, you're not really missing much. If um, you've had any of the, the famous big beers, Coors Light, stuff like that, it is better than the traditional offerings, but I'd say not by much. Um, let's try again, see if we get anything else out of this. This goes down pretty easy. I, I'm not upset at the taste of this beer. I would definitely drink more. I'm probably going to end up sharing it with people here, but uh, overall, fairly, fairly standard domestic tasting beer. Um, very malt forward. Um, a darker characteristic than what Budweiser normally seems to have. Um, very, very light vanilla flavor. I don't taste any oak really at all. It tastes like a Budweiser lager. So, overall, I would say I'm I'm actually kind of disappointed. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit more, a little bit more when I see the Jim Beam name. But I guess honestly, they probably just bought the barrels, ran the beer over the staves. I'm not exactly sure what they did since they didn't even use a whole barrel. They just used a stave of it. So. Um, absolutely no hop characteristics uh, the IBU on this is probably extremely low I didn't look it up but if you don't like hoppy beers you'll be fine with this there's no hops in this whatsoever it tastes pretty normal um, overall I would say not bad but not great I throw this middle of the road um, if you can find it around you say so definitely give it a try. Um, if you're a Budweiser fan, you'll probably like it. Um, if you are a lover of very good craft beer, you probably won't. That's why it's not blowing me away, honestly. I love more of the craft scene right now, and this tastes more of a standard domestic big beer. Um, but overall, not bad for the price. Like I said, seven bucks for six of them is not terrible. Um, grab them share them with your friends. But overall, guys, I want to thank you for watching the channel. If you're new, go ahead and think about hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and a like if you did like the video. If you didn't, there's a button for that as well. Let me know uh, with that or the comment section what you didn't, didn't like. Um, this is my first beer review. Um, hopefully you guys liked it. It's a little different. I will catch you back on the next episode of Beer, Bourbon, and Games. We're going to have some more reviews coming up here for you. So if you do like the bourbon stuff, make sure to tune in to the channel. Remember, drink good beer and good bourbon. Catch you next time.